Hey guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here with another Mordheim Warband Showcase. This time around it is the Pit Fighters, which are one of the expansion ones from the Town Criers. So it's pretty obvious where the base models for this Warband came from. They are the Iron Golems from the Warcry starter set. But I did quite a bit of work on here uh, just to change out some of the uh, the weapons loadouts and mix things up a little bit. So we've got the four heroes on the front row. So uh, we have got the Pit King here in the middle who is armed in the Empire style. So helmet, light armor and double handed weapon. So he is the leader of the warband. Then we have got the... Pit Fighter Slayer. Uh, so this one's slightly not what you see is what you get, because uh, gameplay-wise I run him with two dwarf axes, uh, but he's modeled here with a uh, hammer and axe. So I think the axe from this one came from uh, one of the Fire Slayers uh, from Age of Sigma. Then we have the first of the Pit Veterans, uh, who is armed in the Chaos style, so he has got a flail, and this was a bit of a uh, bits swap uh, with some of the other guys. Uh, and then uh, the shield, helmet, and light armor. Um, I was originally thinking of using this guy as the Pit King, uh, but ended up decided to run uh, with the Empire style instead. Then we have got the final Pit Veteran, who is a Orc style. Um, so this was a very basic weapon swap, just switching out uh, the axe head from one of the flails uh, on the iron golems. So one of the problems with uh, pit fighter warbands is you only start off with four heroes, um, and then you have to get the rest from lads got talent rolls and things like that. So in the campaign I've been playing so far, I have been very lucky and that uh, two of my pursuers from the back row have actually been uh, promoted up. So let's take a look at the henchmen. So First of all, we have got a Pursuer in the Witch Elf style. So that is two swords uh, and helmet. Um, so she was done, again, it's mostly Iron Golem, uh, but with uh, weapon swaps out with, um, I think these were Zench, um, Zench weapons from uh, the Silver Hammer, uh, sorry, uh, Silver Tower box set, uh, but I can't quite remember. Then we have got the first of the pursuers, uh, sorry, the second of the pursuers, who is in skink style. So that is buckler and javelins. Uh, this one's actually been remarkably good in the campaign so far. He's managed to get some uh, get some kills, uh, and that's with me actually forgetting the special pursuer rule that they can um, avoid charges and stuff. So this one has been really good. And then the third pursuer, again in the skink style, this one has got the trident, so that's a spear that you can also parry with, and net. Uh, so the net was just a very basic uh, green stuff job, and then added some of the flails, uh, sort of spiky bits from the uh, Iron Golem set. The trident itself, this was from... Um, those sea elves uh, who are riding the, uh, the eels. Uh, from Age of Sigma, um, so that was the source for the trident and for the uh, the javelin that the other pursuer is holding. And then finally, we have got the big boy, who is too expensive to start off with uh, in the warband, but works quite nicely as an expansion. So he's just blue tacked on here at the moment because he fell off the base just before I was recording. Um, so he again, it's just the Iron Golem's base model, uh, but he's got a different arm, um, so or this end of the arm, I switched out the hammer that he normally comes with um, and gave him the uh, sword from uh, the Dark Oath Champion uh, from the Silver Tower box set uh, with just a basic arm there and then uh, some sculpted wounds and stuff uh, on him as well. Um, so this guy uh, I was able to save up and buy after my second game. Um, and he has done really well. Uh, he got shot uh, six times by uh, some dwarf crossbowmen in the rear end. Um, so I'm actually planning on um, sculpting some, or oh, sorry, uh, 
converting some crossbow bolts and stuff in there to show the battle damage. So yeah, these are the Mornheim pit fighters and I have got plenty more uh, on the Mornheim uh, content to film at some point and upload. Cheers team, bye.